Now, you may remember in our last programme, we featured the murder of 55-year-old Paul Massey, who was shot five times outside his home in Salford on the 26th of July. Well, tonight, we can exclusively reveal a very significant reward is now being offered on the case. DCI Howard Millington is here. Detective, what can you tell us? What are you announcing tonight? We'd, I'd like to announce a £50,000 reward for information that leads to the arrest and conviction of the person or persons responsible for this brutal crime. So a reward of £50,000. What do you know about the offender? He's described as a slim white male wearing a fisherman's style hat, similar to what's shown on the screen, a green or khaki long sleeve top. He's wearing some form of a face covering also and also dark coloured combat trousers which are described as quite distinctively tucked into lace-up boots similar to these. Tell us about his movements. He was carrying a small black gun described as similar to a submachine gun and he's described as by witnesses as coming from across from the Clifton Community Centre across Manchester Road to uh, Paul's home address which is just across the road from there Paul had just got out of his vehicle, a silver BMW, a short time before. Uh, the offender fired a series of shots at Paul and basically, basically left the same way that he came, going across the community centre car park towards an alleyway that runs between Clifton Community Centre and St Anne's Church. This leads out onto an open area and Clifton Country Park and that was the last sighting we have of him. And just lastly, you may have had a potentially important sighting a couple of days before the shooting. That's right. Around about 7pm on Friday the 24th, uh, a male was seen in Clifton Country Park in a white Renault Kangoo van, similar to the one shown here. Uh, he's described as a, a white male, around about 5 foot 10, in, ten inches tall, uh, late 30s to early 40s, wearing a black cap, a jacket, camouflage trousers. But interestingly, he was carrying a torch and a gun which is described as looking like an Uzi style uh, machine gun. Obviously that's quite significant because of uh, the closeness to uh, the scene of the assault two days later. Detective, thank you so much for those details. Well, if any of you watching have any information or were in the area at the time, please do get in touch on the usual numbers.